Well, Kenny, first of all, you seem to be a slight bit of disappointment from yourself and the players after Plymouth, but you weren't able to come away with all three points. Is that still the case? Plymouth is a hard place to come, and you're looking at their, their home record and the season that they had, but you know, quite honestly, I do think we can play better than that. And, and you know, our, our players' attitude to get something out of the game, to get back into it, was very good, and the second half performance was, was better. But there, there were certain aspects I did think we were quite disjointed and we can improve as well. And uh, that's the sort of honesty that we need uh, with ourselves and, and you really try to set our standards very high, which have been you know, up there in recent weeks. But you know, we take the point, we move on for different reasons. You know, our side's been slightly disjointed, uh, injuries, international call-ups, but we have to be good enough to come through that. It's the same for everybody else. And uh, we look forward now to you know, a series of home games after a lot of travelling, and we have to really see if we can be at our best and uh, uh, capitalise on the home advantage and get our own home record back in order. Yeah, it must show how high the expectations are within the squad that you can get a result at somewhere like Plymouth and still find things in the performance to improve on. Yeah, and obviously we were 2-1 up as well and we did feel in, in, a, in a good position and disappointed with a free kick you know, for a number of reasons. But um, you know, I can't say as an, as an overall that Plymouth didn't deserve anything from the game either. And uh, as I say, you know, we take the point and uh, we're honest with ourselves about you know, where we are and as ever then look forward and look forward very quickly to Crewe. Yeah, and looking at Crew, they've picked up two good results on the spin, so there'll be no pushovers. No, beating Peterborough and then beating Oxford in in recent games, and um, you know do look a, a good side, and, and you know we'll respect them, uh, do the work, the you know fantastic job that David Artell has done. But after that, we want to be at our best on Saturday, uh, playing to our strengths if if possible, and uh, while we you know do and will. Uh, uh, have a good look at an analysis at our at our opposition. You know, making sure we're coordinated, cohesive, and um, uh, at our best with full energy is uh, is where we need to you know build up uh, the training ground on on Thursday and Friday of this week. You'll be able to make five substitutions instead of three if you want to. How will that affect things? It will affect it a lot. And if you're looking at uh, um, last week's cup game where we went from three to four uh, at tips, which you know the fourth one absolutely helped us get over the line in that cup game you know it can be the difference between um, winning 3-2 on that day or losing 3-2 and and you know if you, you can now go from 3 to 5 and you know particularly in that second period it can make a big difference uh, my sort of my thoughts on the on the Plymouth game was you know we made two pretty early on and we needed to change the flow of the game otherwise we'd have got nothing out of it but then you know to have uh, more within that last 20 minutes is a big thing and, and uh, using your squad, making the right decisions uh, can be vital. One of those changes at Plymouth was Jack Watmore coming on for the second half. Do you now have a decision to make in terms of who your starting centre-back pairing is going to be on Saturday? Yeah, and we'll, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm comfortable with, with all of them. You know, I do think it's a position where we're well off and um, if everybody's fit there's good competition and there will be on Saturday and, and after that you know, we'll need everybody, we'll need everyone to be firing and right and um, uh, ready to play because you know, the games will come thick and fast. Just an update on the injured players, how are things progressing with the, the lads who have missed out in recent weeks? Yeah, Lee Brown will be available this, this weekend although you know, I've been pleased with Cameron Pring's performance since Lee's been out but you know he's been a good player for us and a big character as well and, and a good organiser at the back so you know we are pleased that um, you know he's back and, a, and around and, and available um, uh, uh, Ronan Curtis obviously played last night uh, for the Republic of Ireland and congratulations you know to him he played 85 minutes he came back on an early flight this morning and is a bit tired but he's fully fit and okay for Saturday as well so you know from our point of view it'll be the that that group that will we'll go again on Saturday